Hello, 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 everybody. What's going on? It is Stevie Aisha Mills. I am super duper uber excited to be back with you for another episode of the Conversation with Stevie. You know, this is the show that we uncover the why behind the what of what people do. And I am just off the top because we have a repeat guest. Oh my gosh. So, y'all know <laughs> that this woman is fabulous. You've heard her story once, but actually, you heard it before I even met her in person. So, when I met her in person, you know, it just got better. It got better and better. <laughs> so let me um, give you some biographical information, So we're going to start this amazing conversation. Dr. Denise, the self-discovery expert, is a founder and CEO who believes the most important relationship she will ever experience is the one she has with herself. But like most people, for years she didn't take the time to discover who she really was. She struggled with recognizing what was valuable about her. She did not appreciate her own uniqueness, sought validation from others, and believed her gifts and talents were not good enough. Although she had experienced success in some areas of her life, she felt she still lacked the confidence to pursue bigger dreams. Now, Dr. Denise is on a journey to self-discovery purpose and owning her amazing her mission and her movement is to uplift, enlighten, encourage, and empower others to discover their own value, purpose, and power. Dr. Denise encourages others to realize they are amazing and they should share it with the world. Two snaps, I'm telling you right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. And so, with a few Dr. Denise, welcome to the conversation. Thank you so much for having me, Stevie. I mean, I mean, looking forward to this conversation with you today. Yes, <laughs> me too. And so, the first thing we have to do is really thank you for being an uh, a sponsor for Experience DMV. Oh my God, the oh, you're welcome. So thank <laughs> you for the opportunity. <laughs> You are welcome, and we just truly enjoyed you. It's just beautiful <laughs> to see you there. It was beautiful to have you just one of our amazing speakers. I think that people have transformed and empowered and inspired, and we all love owning our amazing self. <laughs> that is it's, it's amazing that you were there, and I am just so thankful, and I wanted to take a few minutes to publicly thank you and to ask you, how was your experience and experience? Again, thank you so much for the opportunity to be a part of that event. Uh, it, was one, it was a great experience, you know, um, just to be in the room with a group of people um, who are just amazing and share their messages and their visions. And um, it was just a wonderful experience for me to be there. And so I look forward to other experiences with you as well. Yes, ma'am. I love that area. <laughs> I'm like, the fit, it's, it's so amazing. And that's uh-huh. going to be our word today. You know, we got to use that. <laughs> yeah, that's part yeah. of the brand, so we got to keep using Absolutely. that. <laughs> but I love the fact that it was just like family. The DMV people in that, that Northern Virginia D.C., Maryland area, oh, my God. It's just like so, I feel like family. I just feel like there's a closeness and a cohesiveness that happens with people in that area. And I'm like, yes, I just, I got to come up there and do more. So definitely. Absolutely. (laughs) Yes, ma'am. So you know you'll be one of the first people to know. And um, I want to talk about just the amazing journey, right? Because yeah. I understand, personally, I personally get this, and this is why I'm so excited about your work, because I do understand what it means to want to, like, stifle your own voice and what it means to, like, put your own light under a bushel. I get that because I try to do that. But people who are like you and I, who I can now call myself amazing, I definitely call you amazing, <laughs> um, people like us, I definitely get the fact that when we are amazing, it's going to shine through anyway. You can't stifle our voices and you cannot put our lights out. So tell us about your journey to amazing. Well, (laughs) I think my journey has been 
like most people's journeys. Like I mentioned, like you mentioned in my bio, um, I have not always thought I was amazing. You know, I struggled at a very young age with my self-esteem, my self-worth, my self-value. You know, I didn't grow up always believing I was this amazing human being, you know, and I, I find that a lot of people feel the same way. And just over the last several years have I come to do the work, the inner work that I think that it requires for you to come to, come to a real understanding about we are amazing. Just recently I did a talk, and one of the things that I said to the people in the room was, we showed up on the planet amazing. <laughs> we came amazing. But the problem is we have forgotten that. And unfortunately, a lot of us have grown up with situations and circumstances and, and negativity and, and people, what have you, that did not confirm or validate that we came to this planet amazing. And so the work is now to rediscover, and that's why I call myself a self-discovery expert. You have to rediscover yourself, and you have to rediscover the truth about who you really are, and you are really amazing. So that's my message. That has been my journey. And I'm inviting other people to come along on this movement to self-discovery. And um, I'm just excited about it. <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. And what words, like what are some words that you personally use to describe amazing? Like when you think of that word, what does that bring about? We know, you know, Webster's dictionary form. We know that. But I yeah. want to know what is Dr. Denise's revelation about being amazing. When I think of the word amazing, I think of, like, marvelous, magnificent, um, in awe. When you think about, when you really stop to think about who we are, we should be in awe. It's like, wow, that's amazing. Because we are amazing creatures. We are amazing beings. When we really start to think about how unique each and every person is, that's amazing. You should stand in awe, you know. One of the things I always tell people is like, you know, you go to a museum and you see this rare diamond or this rare artifact. Or I like diamonds and jewelry, so I'll, say, I'll use the diamond example. So you go and see the whole diamond. I remember going to the museum the Smithsonian Museum has seen the Hope Diamond, I was in awe of its beauty because it's rare. You're never going to see anything else like that. And so I tell people, we should be standing in awe of one another because there is no one just like you. There's no one just like me. So when I think about amazing, I think it's, like I said, in awe, magnificent, um, wonder. What a wonder that we all are as created beings. Wow. And I love, um, I think about it in the fact of it factor. You know, that's my mm-hmm. messaging for the yeah. same purpose and the same mission sure. that you're speaking about because your it factor, that's it. We, <laughs> we yeah, all that's it. Are, are amazing. It truly makes, you know, a stand out from the crowded marketplace. And when we just live in our amazing, we have no competition. We have nobody else on the planet who we can compete with because there's nobody else amazing in the way that we are as amazing in, right? They say, yeah, can't nobody do you like you could do you. And so the thing about it is truly to own that. And what do you think are some things that hold people back from the realization that, hey, I am amazing and this is why I am? Why do you think people – don't believe that they are. Like I said earlier, unfortunately a lot of us um, grew up in environments, uh, whether it be home or school or communities, that did not um, confirm or reaffirm or even affirm the fact that we are amazing. And we received messages that told us that we weren't good enough, that we weren't pretty, that we weren't as smart as the next person, well, we didn't have this or we didn't have that. We didn't look a certain way. And so with all these messages, we began to believe that maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe who I am is not enough. Maybe who I am is not amazing like everyone else. So I think, unfortunately, we grew up with, with negative messaging that told us that we weren't amazing, and we believed it. <laughs> unfortunately, we believed it. 
Yes, yes, that's true. We and we yeah. believe it. that's the thing because when you believe something, you make it true. I had the pleasure of spending some time with some kids recently. You know, kids mm-hmm. are always great because they'll tell you the truth. And so yeah. um, I was with the child, and he was doing some work, and he just kept saying, "I cannot do. I can't do it. Mm. It's not going to work." Like saying these negative, defeating prophecies, self-fulfilling prophecies, right? And yeah. so when he was saying that, it is, you know, to somebody who's had to go through some personal development myself, and I sure. looked at personal development, it, kept, it was like fingers on the chalkboard because I kept hearing, I'm like, what? What in the world? Don't say that anymore, please. Like, and this is why you don't say it. And I showed him how to do what he was trying to do, and then he did it. And I said, Oh, I thought you couldn't do any. I thought this was not going to work. Remember? Remember you said that? And I said, mm-hmm. this is why we don't say this. This is why we do not even think about this because we can. You know, if you believe yeah. you can't, then we can agree that you can't and you won't. But it takes somebody who's gone through something to help somebody else get through, and that's why I believe that God is called all of us to do the work that we're doing. You know, if you have not gone through the journey that you went through to have, like, this journey to amazing, then it would not be relevant to you. You know, I think we all become our best clients and customers because (laughs) we've gone through it. You know, we've gone through it, we get it, we understand it. And so it was so easy for me to tell that young man, this is, no, we're not going to say that anymore. We're not. Never. I don't ever. And none of you, I don't want to hear this. <laughs> I don't want to hear this. And that's the thing. And not only to say that, because a lot of times adults tell us, you know, when we were children, don't say this and don't do that. And we didn't know the why. And some of us are curious and want to know the why. And so you are able to deliver the why. And that's why we have this show, because it is the why. And so speaking of the why, what is the why that you are truly, like, passionate about as far as the clientele you reach? Why are you passionate about this certain audience, and who are these people that you're passionate about? My why is that I've come to understand that unless we truly understand our value, then it affects everything in our lives. And what I mean by that is, Based on who we say we are for ourselves, we make choices, we make decisions, we take action or no action based upon what we think we can or can't do. Like the young man you were just speaking about, you know, he didn't, he didn't do the work, he didn't do whatever he was trying to do because he had already told himself, I can't. It didn't matter if someone else told him, yeah, you can do it, but what was he telling himself? He told himself, I can't do it. And so, therefore, he didn't. So I tell people, it's not so important what other people tell you. It's like, what are you telling yourself? What are you saying to yourself? That's going to have the biggest impact on whether or not you go after something or you don't try something. It's all about what are you saying to yourself. And I want to get back to the point about, you know, I've I've worked with young kids for many years, little kids, you know, two- and three-year-olds, four-year-olds. And I love working with them because, I said, most of the time, they haven't been tainted by adults yet, (laughs) you know, in the sense that they believe they can do anything. They believe in themselves. They believe they are powerful. They believe they can, you know, they're the strongest Superman, you know, the prettiest princess in in, in the class, whatever. They believe in themselves, not until they continue to be inundated with negative messages from people around them do they begin to start stop believing in themselves and understanding how valuable they really are. So it's important that uh, we as adults get it, but more importantly, it's it's important that we get it so that we can share it with others. So my biggest why, again, is that I understand that I want to see people live their best lives, and I believe that's not going to happen unless they truly know who they are and they value themselves. Wow. Yeah, that's true. We, We... Just as humans go through so many things that we forget that it's already won, it's already written, it's already 
there I always God gave me this quote a few years ago when mm-hmm. um I was going through some personal like trying to figure it out. And so mm-hmm. it was God has already written my biography. All I've got to do is continually turn the pages. And mm-hmm. so in that every time I get overwhelmed or or anxiety tries to come or I don't believe I could do something, I always say, well, this is my saving grace because it's already done. <laughs> I just have to completely turn the pages. And I think a lot of times people forget that. We try to figure it out. We as humans don't want to wait to see what happens next. We don't want to rest in it because we're, especially in this country, we're so used to doing, you know, doing, 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 instead of being and enjoying life and experiencing it. And I think that once we own our amazing, then we can experience the amazing. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. Because part of owning your amazing is knowing your value. And then part of, and the next part of that is, is to live on purpose. And I believe once you understand your value and what you bring, then I believe you understand that you came here for a purpose and with a purpose. And I believe people... I believe, this is my, 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 my thing, I believe you're not truly going to have happiness and fulfillment and really enjoy life until you live on purpose. Until you do that thing you came to do, that only you can do, you know, the way you do it. So um, as I am aligning more purposely with what I believe God is calling me to do, my life is more happier. I am more fulfilled. I, ha- I am enjoying life a lot more. But you find a lot of people who aren't living on purpose. You know, they're working jobs they hate. <laughs> they're in relationships with people they can't stand. <laughs> so it's hard to enjoy life when most of your day is spent at a job you hate around people that you really, really don't want to be around. That's no fun. So I encourage people to get along with your purpose. Get about doing those things that you are meant to do so that you can enjoy your life so that you can live through this experience and it be a good experience for you. I just want to let this sink in for a second because I think people don't get that. That whole enjoyment mm-hmm. piece, because mm-hmm. we don't take the time to enjoy, you know, and especially people who are driven. And I am yeah. sure that you are quite driven because <laughs> I know your credentials, <laughs> but People who are driven, and I know I am that way too, we definitely, yeah. we're always like, what's the next goal? How, what else yeah. do I check off in my accolade list? What is, what is the thing that I am seeking? I think that the whole enjoying the process, like yeah. saying, yes, I did that. Yes, I accomplished that. Yes, let me celebrate that. I think we miss that often. And so really understand what it is to say, oh, my goodness, this is how I'm showing up in this world. I am mm-hmm. celebrating my amazing just because I am amazing. <laughs> if I never do another thing, if I never accomplish yeah. another thing, I will still be amazing because I am I, mean, I was created. And so when you understand that fully and just leap into that and launch into that, then it's an amazing thing, and that's a beautiful thing that you're creating. Mm -hmm. And so as we inch towards the newness of a new year, what is it that is on your amazing way that you will deliver this information to people? Are you going to be doing any events? Are you going to be writing any books? Give us a sneak peek. (laughs) I'm so excited because, just this past um, weekend, I was off with my coach working on my calendar for 2018, and I am so excited <laughs> about what's next for this Own Your Amazing movement. And the funny thing is, like, we had some events this past year, and we're going to be having some in 2018. And... Um, and, and but then possibly a book is in the works, so you know, I'm going to be talking with some people about that, but definitely some more workshops, um, some more programs to get people engaged, and some retreats. There's a lot of good stuff coming down the pike because I'm just really excited and committed and, 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 and just want to really engage people 
and this whole movement movement of them owning their amazing. Um, like you said, we, we showed up amazing, and it's not about what we, what kind of credentials we have. I always ask people, I was like, was I amazing before I became a doctor, or did becoming a doctor make me amazing? A lot of times we think having certain accolades or getting certain things is going to make us more valuable or more important. No, I was already valued before I got the degree, <laughs> you know. I was, I was already smart before I got the degree. So I'm always letting people know you, who you are is enough. Now, if you wish to get those um, things, you know, degrees, promotion, I'm all for that. But don't feel like those things will make you any more valuable or important or significant than you already are today. Those things are just, this makes you those things align with what it is you, you're called to do and your purpose to do. But you already, we showed up to the, to the planet amazing, and that hasn't changed. So some good stuff is coming. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. It's exciting. It's exciting, like you said, to leap into 2018. And I was telling somebody today, I was like, oh, my goodness, I am already in 2018. My mind has yeah. been in 2018 yes. for yes. a long time. I'm just waiting yes. on the calendar to catch up. And I think part of my excitement <laughs> um, is that I'll be 40 in 2018. So oh, I hear okay. that 40 is like the new, like it's, it's, it's something to oh, look yeah. forward to. So <laughs> I think that's part of my my journey and why I'm excited. And so um, every woman that I've talked to, especially since I turned 39, I turned 39 October 25th, so every woman who I know, is, you know, a little bit older than me. I always ask them, and I want to ask you, what sure. is the the thing that I should or that you think women who are about to turn 40 should look most forward to? Oh, my goodness. I feel like 40, and in your 40, I'm in my 40s, it, it's the settling and really getting really comfortable with who you are. Uh, I remember someone telling me the same thing before I turned 40. And so she was like, you're going to really enjoy your 40s because you get to be who you really, really are. You get to be comfortable in your own skin. I felt like the 20s was like 20s were crazy, you know, um, in college, having a good time, trying to figure some things out. My 30s, I was a little bit more settled, but still trying to figure out who I was and where I was going and what was, what was my life going to be about. But now that I've been in my 40s, it's like, oh, my God, this is amazing. <laughs> you know, I would not want to go back to my 20s and 30s because I am so happy with who I am right now. I am so comfortable in my own skin. I am so comfortable with, with who I am. I don't have to um, pretend to be somebody I'm not. You know, I don't have to wish that I was someone else. I'm finally at a place in my life where I am glad to be me. <laughs> I can only be me, and so um, I'm very comfortable with that. So I, I, I'm, a, I'm excited for you for, for getting in your 40, you know, turning 40, because it's going to be a very exciting time for you. You are, it's just going to be really good. It really, really is. It really is. <laughs> awesome. I am excited. I'm like, I'm planning the party now. Yeah. It was so funny because I'm like, Lord, do I have a party in the DMV at the cross side with the little girl DJ. What do I need? Exactly. <laughs> oh my <Lord>. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think about this. Whole I am like beyond excited. And I think that I am starting to get the whole fullness of it now. Like I am, the calendar hasn't caught up. But I am definitely getting that settling. I am definitely like, this is who I need to be connected to. This is who mm-hmm. I need to see. This is how I am. And if you don't mm-hmm. gel with it, it's okay. God bless yep. you. Keep moving. Mm-hmm. And this is who, like, I feel like that now at 39, I'm like, okay, this is like the launching pad to 40. When I get 40, yes. <laughs> it's yes. like a big deal. And so I am excited. And I think, <laughs> you know, there are some women in the world who get depressed around certain ages. I just never, yeah. when I turned 30, I was, like, excited about that. When I turned 40, because I just believe that it gives you a chance to, you know, up-level, plan yeah. differently. Like, I am working on myself more between this 39 and 40 because of some stuff I want to leave in my 30s so that I can prepare. So, yes, 
I am excited. <laughs> Thank you for your wisdom. And yeah, you're going to love it. <laughs> I am excited. I am excited about it. I <laughs> want to begin to ask you, you know, really, if, is there anything that we have left and said and done in this conversation today? We have a few more minutes before we get your contact information for you to share with everybody. But do you, um, what else do we need to talk about that is, you're like, Stevie, we cannot leave this today until we talk about this. You know, I just want to just continue to reiterate the fact that, um, the fact that we are amazing. And I just think we don't really understand what that really means um, in the sense of, you know, only you're amazing is understanding your value, understanding that you have significance, you have, you are important, and then understanding that align with your purpose and your vision, and then most importantly, then now go and share your brilliance with the world, your unique brilliance, that, that thing that only you can bring. And I like what you said earlier about competition, you know. Um, I work with teen girls as well. You know, teenagers are always trying to, be different and look different and I'm going to wear my hair this way because I don't, I want to be different. And I always tell them, well, you already are different. There's nobody else like you. You don't have to try to be different. You are different. And that's a good thing. And I always tell them, like, look, there has never been, not currently, and never will be anybody on this planet exactly like you. There's never going to be another Dr. Denise like me. There's never going to be another Stevie like you. So we don't have to try to be different. We are different. We are unique, we're special, and we're different. And that should be celebrated. That should be um, looked at in amazement, you know? And so think about, I tell people, think about all the people on the planet, over 6 million people and a billion people on this planet, and nobody is, is exactly like you. That's amazing. That's special. And so I just want to, again, make sure people understand that just get, get to know who you are, get to see your own brilliance, get to know your own value. And once you do that, your life is going to be totally different, totally different. You'll make choices and decisions from a, a place of security and, and, a, and a strong foundation. You don't have to worry. You won't be worrying about whether or not um, someone else likes you. Like yourself first, <laughs> you know. Enjoy your own company first. And then you don't have to worry about people validating you or confirming whether or not they think you're good enough. If you think you're good enough, that's all that matters. And that's so true. It's like, it's so funny. I was at um, a conference over the weekend, play time was over with Cheryl Wood, and yeah. the funny thing about that is you people who know me, who have seen me, who have ever encountered me with there is a few look around, no, I love to dance. So it right. was an amazing DJ there, uh-huh. and I was dancing, and it was so, like, interesting and um, transformative for people who were there because they're like, girl, you can dance. Because <laughs> I was dancing all their life, like, two days. And it's funny because I did the same thing experience with the DJ, but it was um, just amazing because, Yes, even in your amazingness, um, you your quirks and your things that you yes. love, that's part right. of that amazing, too. And for me, exactly. it is truly, I will put on some sneakers if my feet hurt. I won't take off my heels so my sneakers yes. and get my dance on. That is, that is truly part of my it factor and stuff. I think that we overlook that. We're trying to always look so pristine. And one um, yeah. of my coaches before has said, you know, mm-hmm. see me, what you need to put dance in everything you do because that's when you come alive. And yeah. it is true. Like, women in that room, I had so many different people talk about my dance and, like, compliment it, say, I love your spirit. Even the DJ, the yeah. DJ said, at the end of it, she was like, Stevie, thank you so much for dancing because, one, as a DJ, it lets me know I'm doing a good job. And for two, yeah. It yes. frees women out of their yes. bondage. And so yes. something as simple as that, you know, something that I love to do, having fun, it's mm-hmm. really, like, it makes a difference. And so what you're saying and what I believe in wholeheartedly 
is really just owning every part of you. I always said the good, bad, ugly, and indifferent. Always yes. owning that because all of those things make the dynamic person that we call you. And so truly understanding that, you're right. And I think that as we embark into 2018, which will be in a few shakes of a landscape, <laughs> <laughs> we just have to really understand that, yes, this is the year of being the bold, beautiful, intelligent being that we are. You know, owning that and really stopping the, like, and that's what marketing, as a PR and marketing person and understanding what PR and, mar- PR and marketing are all about, I get that. Mm-hmm. Like, I tell people to put more you in your brain because right. in the crowded marketplace, you know, you've got to. And so if we could, prior to you um, leaving us for today, talk about how business, marketing, branding, and amazing all mixed together, like how we can see somebody as amazing and choose that person over another, like really encourage the women in business. You know, I just encourage any business person, anytime I work with someone who who um, wants to start a business or is in business, you know, I always ask them, what is it that you want? What is it that you see for your brand, for yourself? And whatever that is, it's okay. Because I think a lot of times we think, oh, it should be this way or I have to do it that way. But not necessarily. You know, for example, my brand colors are red, turquoise, and silver. <laughs> Most people might think, oh, that doesn't go together, but I like it. I think it's beautiful because red is my favorite color. And so it's like, what is it that you want? What's going to get you excited every day to get up? So any woman, any person who is looking to start their business or even in their business, make sure it's something that you get excited about. Nobody else has to get excited about it because it's yours. It's your baby. Is you owning your amazing. You make it as beautiful, creative, however you want it to be. And, and people who, um, who, who, some people will see that and will resonate with them, and those are the people that you, you associate with, become part of your tribe and what have you. But do you. I would tell people, do you. Your, your business does not have to look like mine. Mine does not have to look like yours for it all to be of value. Everybody can bring something to the table of value, and we all do bring something to the table of value, and it does not have to look like everybody else's. So I tell people, have the freedom to create what it is that's going to give you joy, that's going to give you excitement, that's going to be uh, in line with your passion and your purpose in terms of what it is you want to do and bring to the world. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> well, 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 we have reached yeah. the end of the conversation, but prior right. to <laughs> yeah. good. I'm going to fly fast. We got a couple more minutes. We got a couple more minutes. But we, um, we're, going, <laughs> we're going to get any lasting words from you. So, you know, you take as long as you want to. Um, and we're going to, of course, get your contact information because we've got to stay in touch with you, Dr. Denise. Awesome. So the best way to reach me is through my website, and it is ownyouramazingnow.com. I'll say it again, ownyouramazingnow.com. Yes. And you go <laughs> own it now. Don't wait. You don't have to wait. You can own your amazing now. Now is your time, okay? And so if you go to the website, there is a free video training there called The Blueprint. And it, and it helps you to get on the path of understanding what I've been talking about last couple of minutes about this whole thing of, of understanding your value, aligning with your purpose, and then sharing your brilliance. And also on the website, there is a link to schedule a free self-discovery call. I highly recommend that for anyone who is, you know, lost, <laughs> kind of lost, maybe needs some support, some guidance, just schedule a free call with me. We can get on the phone and chat and talk and see how I can support you and in, in owning your amazing and getting on that journey. And in terms of social media, you can find me on Facebook at Dr. Denise on your amazing Instagram. I'm at Dr. Um, Dr. Period, um, Denise Moore on uh, in Instagram. And my Twitter handle is own your amazing. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> this is 
<laughs> I love that word now. <laughs> now, um, only now. Now means so much. And so, what? Tell us. I just want to stay right there for a second. But okay. tell us why, like now, like you felt so much passion. Like when you said that, when you said your website. Not only because it's your website did you feel passion, but you feel passion. like it's an affirmation. And yes, tell us, is. like, what was the pivotal moment in your life when you're like, that is the website, but this is why I want people to know this. What happened? I realized that life is precious, Stevie. You know, life is very precious and it's fragile. We can look at all the different things that are happening, just even currently with all the different tragedies. And one of the things I always say, I don't know when I'm going to be leaving this planet. I have no idea. (laughs) But when I go, I want to make sure I have lived full full out. I want to make sure I have done everything that I was sent here to do. And so I always tell people, when is the best time for you to get on purpose to live the life you always dreamed about? The time is now. A lot of times we wait, oh, I'll do it when this happens. Or, how, how do you know you're going to have that time? Who says you're going to be here 10 years from now? Do it now. Do it while we have the opportunity to do it. Live now. To so own your amazing, get on purpose, do it about knowing who you are, all that great stuff, so that you can go out and share your brilliance with the world. You know, we talked earlier about this little light, you know, the light that shines. We, we cannot continue to put our lights under a bushel. We can't continue to hide. People are in darkness right now, and we are the answer to their prayers. So we have to get about letting our light shine right now today so that other people can come out of the darkness. And so I'm passionate about Only You're Amazing because I know there are so many people who are hiding, who are stuck, who, who are, you know, depressed and not living the life that they know they were meant to live and what they dream about. And so I'm passionate about having people to get that life right now. <laughs> we don't have to wait. We can have it right now, today, starting today. So that's why wow. it's on your amazing now. <laughs> wow. I knew it was some more about that. I knew that the part was going to come. And when I heard now, and this, um, it's been in my spirit for a couple of days because Darren Dwight Hanson, who was at the conference this weekend from Cell Food and also South the Yard, he had an acronym for now, hmm. Opportunity Window. So new opportunity window. That's what your now yeah. is. So yeah. opening up your now is truly what takes you to those new opportunities that are waiting for you. And so yes, Yes, yes. I love it. I have enjoyed this conversation. Thank you again for coming Thank you. by to have Thank another you. conversation. You are so welcome. Thank and you for I having want me. to um you're welcome. And please, because I know we kind of talked we've talked about something else after you gave your contact information, so please just reiterate what it was. Absolutely. The website again is own your amazing now dot com. Uh, on Facebook, you can find me at Dr. Denise on Your Amazing. Um, Instagram uh, is Dr. Denise Moore, and my Twitter handle is On Your Amazing. Awesome, awesome! <laughs> so we appreciate you being here. This has been a great conversation. You know, you know, our paths will cross again. At some Absolutely, point in the I hope future. so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, because we're on the same page with. You call it amazing, I call it it factor, but it is the same thing. We're talking the same language, yes. kind of like in church. They say, well, you're on the right pew. You're on the right pew. That's right. So, That's right. <laughs> Amen. Uh-huh. So, everyone, this has been your girl, Stevie Aisha Mills. I'm so excited to bring you another conversation. The conversation with Stevie is truly where we uncover the why behind the what of what people do. If you ever need to connect with me, then guess what? You can find me by just knowing how to spell my first name, S-T-E-V-I-I. We'll take you to Stevie.com. It will take you to all my social media. And guess what? You can always find me at the conversation with Stevie. And so, guys, make it a great day. I don't believe in having great days. Make it a great day. Why? Because you, 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 and yes, you, too, have the power to do so. Bye for now.